Hey Steelers fans! The Steelers have been surprising fans in recent games. Their results are better than anyone expected. Justin Fields is really enchanting fans, and the Steelers insider predicts whether Fields will start instead of Russell. Fans didn't expect her to say that, but that's not all. The passing attack also needs reinforcements, and the Steelers have three options for that. Leave your like and don't miss any details. I want to know which option you agree would be better. Steelers insider Brooke Pryor of ESPN has forecasted that Justin Fields is likely to start for the Pittsburgh Steelers in their upcoming home game against the Los Angeles Chargers following his performance against the Denver Broncos. Despite an inconsistent showing, Fields managed the game sufficiently to suggest that the team might opt to give Russell Wilson additional recovery time for his ongoing calf issue. Fields' performance in Denver was a mixed bag showing promise in the first half with a touchdown pass and completing 10 of 12 passes for 101 yards. However, his production dropped in the second half, adding only 16 more passing yards. Overall, Fields completed 13 of 20 passes for 117 yards and added 27 rushing yards, demonstrating his dual-threat capability. Albert Breer of Sports Illustrated noted that Fields has been effective at executing offensive coordinator Arthur Smith's plays, utilizing his mobility and ability to make plays on the move. Despite these strengths, Fields' total performance for the season positions him in the lower tier of NFL quarterbacks with a 45.9 adjusted QBR. The situation around Russell Wilson remains delicate. The Steelers, perhaps signaling their current leanings, awarded Wilson, who did not play, a game ball after their victory over the Broncos, a gesture that underscores his leadership role within the team. Yet, this also hints at the possibility of Fields continuing as the starter if the team decides to proceed cautiously with Wilson's calf injury. Looking ahead, if Wilson is rested for the Week 3 game against the Chargers, this could set him up for a potential return in Week 4 against the Indianapolis Colts. As preparations continue, the Steelers are listed as slight favorites in their next game, indicating confidence in their current setup with Fields potentially at the helm again. If you thought the Steelers' problems ended there, just wait until you see what's happening with their receiving core. The Pittsburgh Steelers have kicked off the season with a strong start, sitting at 2-0 but their offense is struggling to make a significant impact on the scoreboard, averaging just 15.5 points per game. The wide receiver group, led by George Pickens, is underperforming, highlighting the urgent need for a reliable WR2. Here are three strategies the Steelers might consider to address this gap. Option 1. Trade for John Mechie III. The Houston Texans boast a deep, wide receiver core, which could make John Mechie III expendable. Mechie, whose early career was interrupted by a battle with cancer, is an inspiring story of resilience and talent. With the Texans set to make a playoff push and Mechie currently underutilized, Pittsburgh could offer draft capital or defensive depth to secure him. This trade would provide Mechie with a chance to contribute significantly and add a dynamic option opposite Pickens. Option 2. Sign a free agent. Free agents like Michael Thomas and Hunter Renfro are currently without teams. Thomas, known for his impressive reception totals in healthier seasons, and Renfro, at 28, still have the potential to contribute significantly. Either could step in to offer immediate improvement over Van Jefferson, bringing veteran experience and reliable hands to the Steelers' lineup, or at the very least, serve as stopgap solutions while mentoring younger players. Option 3. Develop Roman Wilson the Steelers invested a day-two draft pick in Roman Wilson, indicating high expectations. Wilson's speed and ability to separate make him a natural fit as a WR2 or WR3. Although he's a rookie, the Steelers' track record suggests he could be more than just a draft statistic. He might be the key to revitalizing their receiving core. Given the team's historical success with developing talent from day-two picks, Wilson could soon become a crucial component of the offense, especially if other short-term solutions do not pan out. As the Steelers move forward, these options provide various paths to bolster their receiving ranks, each with its potential benefits and risks. The choice they make could significantly influence their offensive capabilities and playoff prospects. With so many decisions to make, the Steelers are at a crucial moment in the season. Whether it's leading the offense with Fields or Wilson, or looking to strengthen the receiving core, what comes next could define the team's success or failure. Now, all we can do is wait and watch the upcoming games. What do you think will happen? Leave your comment and don't forget to check out the videos on the final screens to stay up to date with all the Steelers news.